Hi, my name is Patrick Fezowski from the Center for Body Language. Since Eckert has published his study in 65, concluding that pupils dilate under influence of emotions, there has been a lot of scientists who followed him, sometimes blindly. The fact that triggered us is that data on how much pupils grow or shrink is not so easy to find. So we've put the scientific theory to the test and researched how useful it is in a real life. We reconstructed one of the most known pupil dilation tests and on the left side you see a woman looking at a landscape, which should leave her pupil size the same. Same woman, same lighting circumstances on the right side, looking at a picture of a cute baby, should increase her pupil size. Now let's have a look at this in slow motion. Indeed, you can see that the pupils, when seeing the nice cute baby, they dilate just a little bit, about 10%. So yes, the theory is correct, but is it useful in daily life? We had to zoom and enlarge the eyes quite a lot, as you can see, to be able to see the difference. So in daily life, this is not very useful because there is a difference between the experience of anger and happiness in the pupil size of between 5 to 15% only. And this is in line with what we found in scientific data and also in our other tests that we've done in this style. If you'd like to learn more, follow our two-month body language e-course on centerforbodylanguage.com.